I'm sure a lot of you out there might be also glad to know that April is National Grilled Cheese Month. Uh, I expect mm. to see an Instagram post of you doing that okay. at home, by the way. So forget the traditional American cheese and white bread. Here to help you take your grilled cheese up a notch, we have Chef Will Springfield. Chef Will, thanks for coming in. Hi, and, thanks for having me. Okay, so earlier in, in our newscast at noon, we had uh, Andy and Justin that were salivating over this grilled cheese that we're going to make. <laughs> what is it that we're making? Okay, so what we're going to do is it's a caprese, so a special off on caprese salad but we're using sun-dried tomatoes and uh, there's a uh, macaroni and cheese and we're incorporating all the uh, uh, cheeses, cheeses that we're using so sun-dried tomato and macaroni and cheese in addition to the cheese on the grilled cheese yeah so we, we're, <laughs> we're going double cheese. carb <laughs> double carb cheesy. and triple cheese yes uh, okay we love it and also i noticed that the cheeses that you brought down there we we have, we have little exactly. note cards here mm -hmm. i I don't think I can pronounce really any of these. Oh, so I maybe... can get Comte. I got that one. That's a good French cheese. Well, these are uh, three French cheeses that people might not be familiar with. We've got uh, Emmental. Uh, that's from the uh, Normandy region. It's smooth and creamy. Mm. It's distinctive for its holes like Swiss cheese. Then we got Mimolette. When it's whole, it looks like a cantaloupe. Oh, yeah. That's oh, also cool. from Normandy. Yeah, it's a really cool cheese. That's sharp and nutty. So that's going to have a real strong flavor then. Yeah. Okay. And then we have Comte, which is made from unpasteurized cow's milk, where the other two are pasteurized cow's milk, and that's from the Comte region of eastern France. You know, I always have been partial to, like, stinkier cheeses because I feel like some cheese like mozzarella, no offense to mozzarella fans, but it's sort of... Like, there's not a lot of flavor, so yeah. what's the point? I want to really taste my cheese. You want that smack yeah. you in the face kind of cheese. So today, we will taste the cheese. What are some of the basics of creating a really good cheese sandwich? Okay, thing? so you want to have a really good bread, okay. no doubt. So uh, bye-bye white bread. Yeah, bye-bye white bread. <laughs> well, that's like a pretzel bread, huh? Yeah, this is pretzel bread, exactly. This is an olive loaf, mm. and then this is a multi-grain bread. Nice. Mm. And then it's just the ingredients and, uh, you know, warming the cheese up. Cheese is best if you serve it room temp. It's almost like wine. So don't, pull it, don't pull it out of the refrigerator out. and exactly. go straight into your sandwich. Let it sit on the counter for a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Let nice. it sit out for a little bit. And mustard and uh, chutneys or flavored jellies go really well. So you kind of did this like a little cheese platter. Yeah. All yeah. right. So can we start assembling one? Sure, sure. Can you show us how to do it? So this pan go. over here is getting really hot. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to grill the inside of the bun. What are you are spreading you on butter? the bun? This is a mixture of butter. And cream cheese. Whoa, more cheese. <laughs> you gotta Calorie have free. <laughs> Butter and cream cheese. Is that wow. like 50 50? Yep, you got it. Okay. Also makes it nice and spreadable. So yep. do you whip that up in a mixer? Yep, so just you don't whip want it, it to be Let it come to room temp and it'll whip right up. Okay, got it. So the bread's going. And we're also gonna put that in the. Uh, uh, the, the center of the bread, or on the inside of the bread. Oh, Wait, so that that's mac the mac and cheese? So you, put the the mac and cheese. you put the, tomato, the sun-dried tomatoes in the mac and cheese? Yeah, there's some sun-dried tomatoes in there, or you can sprinkle some on top, but I put I like sun-dried tomatoes a lot, so I did both. Will, your mac and cheese looks very gourmet. What if someone at home just wants to make regular mac and cheese out of a box? So there's a panini press, and panini presses are great. They just don't work really well on these tall sandwiches. But on the smaller sandwiches, you can also adjust them, though, for the fatter See, sandwiches. That to but me is a sandwich. Panini press is a wonderful thing to have in. That big house. sandwich is a sandwich that you have to use a fork and a knife to eat. Yeah, okay. no doubt. Our bread is getting nice and hot yeah. over here. I can get toasty, so we're going to put a little bit of the same mixture. More butter and mayonnaise. cream cheese. Yep, more fat. The cheese isn't fatty enough, so we're going to add some more. <laughs> got to add more. You know, we, we You're always believe it. You're helping with the basil and the tomatoes. It's all good. And it's good to indulge once in a while, right? We'll do some bacon. bacon. That's what I missed. It's on the other one. Bacon, a little more sun-dried tomato. Wow, I hope Andy and Justin are watching this back yeah. at the station. Oh, it will fresh be so basil. Leaves. Fresh basil, my favorite. And fresh this basil just adds that little extra oomph. And this yeah. pretzel bread would work really well on the panini press, no doubt. Okay, there's the big hunk of yeah. mac and cheese that's going in there. So again, you probably don't want to oh. take that right out of the refrigerator. You want to let it get to room temperature or mm -hmm. still be warm from cooking? Yes, exactly. I've had it out in the studio for a while since so it's gotten a little firm. But yeah, it if it so was good. fresh out, made it uh, just a couple hours. So will what kind of wine goes with the grilled cheese? Okay, so what I have is a really nice, this is a boutique winery out of Napa. It's, uh, <laughs> He's laughing at me. Come Cros on. It's Crosby Thursday, Romaine. Thursday. Come on. I, didn't, I forgot that there was wine this in this is, segment. This is your glass. <laughs> okay. And I don't know how it happened, but my glass is really big. Oh, I don't know how that happened either. Oh, what happened. an unfortunate mistake. Is so our sandwich going to burn over there while we're drinking a, wine? It'll a, it'll a, it's a little boutique winery out of Napa. It's a uh, family-owned. 
Hmm. And you can check out their wines. It's about $34 a bottle. It's a Chardonnay. Oh, a Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. It's got honeydew and pineapple notes and a lemon-lime spice finish. And you can uh, look, check out their wines at CrosbyRomaine.com. Hold up this oh, label nice. just so people Nice crisp wine is. goes really nice with grilled cheese. Nice. So a crisp white wine with mm -hmm. your grilled cheese. Do we need to turn that down over there? Oh, that's nice. It's starting to smoke over there. Yeah, that's good. Now that's going to be burning hot. Are we going to be able to eat that? Mm. It's all good. Guys, I wish smell vision had been invented because that smells so, so just, nice. Just to recap, you have three different kinds of French cheeses. Uh -huh. uh, then you've got the sun-dried tomatoes mixed in with the mac and cheese. You've got the bacon. You've got basil. A little bit of 50-50 butter and cream cheese on a pet pretzel bun. It. And last, Give it a big lastly, taste I am going to taste this because... I don't know if you guys can see this at home, but that is layered with mac and cheese. Come on, put your Will, face in it. Thank you so much for helping us to <laughs> celebrate it. National Do Grilled it. Cheese Do Month. It. I'm gonna take a bite as soon as I finish reading what we have to say. We got some business to do. Guys, if you would like more cheesy ideas, please visit the website Cheeses of Europe. <laughs> Dot com. And uh, you can also book your private chef mm. by visiting pri yourprivatechefhouston.com. Is that you got it? it. You your got private it, chef Houston. Okay. Thanks for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me, guys. While he's chowing down. You know what I need after I